Argos doesn't discriminate. So it can be the 16 year old daughter that tries something for the first time, it can be someone from the population that is in downtown Red Deer, or it can be a prestigious professor at a university. So just this idea that sometimes we have stigma towards what kind of people do overdose, it's definitely not what we see on a day to day basis. They should care about these people just as they should care about the neighbor, anybody, because it can be anyone. And anybody who has a substance use or misuse problem is a human being and deserves the right to have the same standard of health care and the same harms reduced that they would if they had any other type of illness or situation. So the more that people who have substance use are alienated and have shame, the less likely they are to have help and to be able to grow and heal from that, the more likely they are to perpetuate the drug use. So if we can just reach out to these people and meet them where they're at, then they are more likely to have help and move forward. How much do you think uh, a safe consumption site in Red Deer would change the game for everybody? Hmm. So as a nurse, I think this would be a huge opportunity for people who are already using substances to have access to a clean space to use, and then along with that have access to wraparound services, so housing support, income support, detox treatment.